Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. It is time for the Double Game Week 29. As some of you may know, the Manchester City versus Arsenal game that was meant to be played in Game Week 28 um, got postponed and moved to Game Week 29. So this means, as you can see here, uh, I've got Kevin De Bruyne as an example. Um, the first game that Manchester City has in Game Week 29 will be against um, Manchester United away. And then they will have a home fixture against Arsenal. Uh, if we look at the date here, it will be on a Wednesday, 11th of March. And right now, a lot of FPL managers are trying to get a lot of Arsenal and Manchester City players. So what I thought I'd do in this video is um, talk to you guys about my team and my plans and what I'm going to be doing. Obviously, we all got different kind of teams and different strategies and then I thought to myself you know what why don't I give you some of the best options from those teams so Arsenal and Manchester City there is a slight problem which is navigating through the blank game week 31 let's have a quick look at the fixtures as you can see game week 31 this is it and there's still cup games left to be played, like Leicester City versus Birmingham, uh, Sheffield Wednesday against Manchester City, and the last one is Tottenham versus Norwich. That's gonna make a lot of impact uh, on these fixtures in Game Week 31. Any of those teams go through, they won't have a fixture in Game Week 31. So we still need to wait. That's why I told you guys in my previous video, hold your transfers as long as you can, especially for this game week. Because the more we wait, the more information that we're going to get. Just like this announcement for the double game week 29. This video is sponsored by OneFootball, an app that is free to download on iOS and Android devices. This app will definitely help you out with FPL and the Champions League Fantasy Football. You'll be able to follow your favorite teams, find out the latest news, live scores, highlights, transfers, stats, and many, many more. If you're interested, there will be a link in the description below. Thank you. Having said that, let's have a quick look at my team. I'm going to do a little bit of an overview and give you guys my strategies on what I'm going to be doing. Uh, you guys might have a completely different idea, and that is fine. So, looking at my team on paper, do you know what? It's actually not too bad. A lot of FPL managers are trying to get a Bamian, which means that I'm in a fantastic position here because I already have a Bamian. And holding that transfer and waiting, you know, until the end of the week, it's actually helped me out a lot. I do have Kevin De Bruyne in that uh, double game week as well. And I'm actually thinking to bring in another double game week um, player for game week 29. But looking at these players, you know, I've got two Liverpool players against Bournemouth. I've got um, Bolly and Raul Jimenez against Brighton. Um, Southampton players, Ings and um, Stevens here at home against Newcastle. And yes, I have Leicester City players against Aston Villa at home. Although Aston Villa concedes a lot of shots, so you never know. And of course, we've got Ryan in goal away against Wolves. Um, and as you can see, this is my subs. So, you know, looking at this team, going into the double game week 29, it's actually not too bad. I'm in a great position because I still have one free transfer and I am thinking to captain Abamian. I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping that he gets the goals and assists and all this stuff in the first game against West Ham. I know West Ham has been performing lately. Um, you know, they played well against Liverpool and they won against Southampton, but they're still conceding goals. That's the thing that we need to think about. And to be honest with you, I've got to do something a little bit different. I want to say Abamian is a massive differential. Um, and you know, a lot of people is talking about Abamian, but his ownership is still low, 22%. Um, I think Kevin De Bruyne's got 50, yeah, 50%. And looking at my team, I've got quite a lot of good captain options like Raul Jimenez, Salah, Kevin De Bruyne, Aubameyang. So this is actually a good thing to have. So hopefully Aubameyang could get all the goals. Like, uh, I just wish that he scores like a hat trick. Ah, oh, that would be the dream. 
Oh man, so it will definitely help me out with the ranks and I definitely need um, this to pay off. But I'm not panicking yet, I still have my wild card, I still have my bench boost and I still have my free hit. Now, obviously we still need to wait for the FA Cup games to be finished so I can decide on what I want to do. Let's just say, oh, there's so much scenarios like, oh, okay, I don't want to go through it too much but let's just say that Liverpool, uh, no, not Liverpool, Leicester City is out of the FA Cup and let's just say um, their fixture stays, um, you know, as you can see Leicester City is playing against Brighton. So let's just say, as an example, that Leicester City is out of the FA Cup. Now, when you are watching this video, you will know the results, but I'm recording this um, around 8 o'clock. So, yeah, let's just say that Leicester City has their fixture against Brighton in Game Week 31. As you can see, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 players for Game Week 31. That's actually not too bad. And, you know, we've still got Game Week 30 and 31 to make those free transfers. And I could take an additional four point hit to get like a starting 11. However, there could be a situation where I only have like probably five players for the blank game week. Now, that would be a little bit of a problem, but we still have game week 30 and 31 to make the transfers. With one hit at least, or maybe two, could get a decent team for that blank game week 31 and then use my wild card in game week 32. Now, as for my transfers, to be honest with you, um, it all depends on the lesser city going through in the FA Cup. If they do go through and if they do have a blank and they don't have a fixture in Game Week 31 against Brighton, then that's going to be a little bit of a problem. But if they're out, then I'm thinking to bring in uh, Edison here because Manchester City's got two fixtures. He is the only kind of uh, Manchester City player that is 100% nailed on. And I will play him instead of Ryan in game week 29, which then my team will look even better. Um, and other than that, I can go for a Watford player if I wanted to. Um, there are other players that I'm thinking about, but for now, I'm just going to wait and see. So let me go through some of the Arsenal and Manchester City players for you guys to kind of look out for and to kind of pick from going into the double game week 29. So here is a little bit of a list of players that I picked out from that might be an interesting pick for you guys for the double game week 29. Now, of course, there is other players to look out for, like Liverpool players. They've got great fixtures uh, and great fixture in game week 29. Um, Wolves, great players like Jota, Raul Jimenez, the defenders, like they're all doing well. Um, Watford beat... Liverpool 3 0. You know, they've got a couple of players that I'm interested in. However, because this is, you know, a double game week, a lot of people are thinking to just to take a little bit of a risk and have a little bit of fun with this double game week. And we need to have a little bit of fun. So I'm going to go through all of these players. Of course, there's other options as well, like Lacazette. You can. Um, try and go for a, a another um, Arsenal defender if you want, um, and there are other players in you know that I might have missed, such as like um, David Silva and Bernardo Silva, maybe Sane. But this is some of the players that I'm going to be talking to you guys about. So let's just quickly go through. Now let me start with Arsenal. I don't think Arsenal has got a high chance to keep a clean sheet maybe against West Ham there could be a chance there and the problem is the defenders that we have right now like you know Southampton players uh, Wolves Liverpool I don't think there is a gap and space <laughs> for a Manchester City defender or even a Manchester uh, an Arsenal um, defender I don't think there's any space however if you are free hitting or if you're trying something different, then maybe Bellerin is the one to go for for the Arsenal back line. He's back from injury. He played four games in a row now. So someone to look out for. As for the goalkeeper, you know, this guy saves a lot of shots. Maybe he could rank up those save uh, points. 
uh, that could help him out a lot. And, and we've got Pepe, Saka. Now, this guy is 9.2, he's expensive. It's very difficult for any FPL managers out there uh, to, to bring this guy in, into our team. And I don't think you should go out there and completely destroy the, the template that you have, the team that you have, that you created, just to bring also players and then the blanking game with 31. You gotta be careful. And I, I say it how it is, but I wanna give people an option because there are people that wants to take a risk and wants to gamble on it. And you know what? It could pay off. In football, anything can pay off. Next time is Saka. Uh, 4.6, only 2.5% owned. Now, I'm mentioning him because he is a very cheap option that has a chance to play. And if he plays, and you know what? In the recent weeks, he's performed well. Like in the last five games, um, three assists. That's not too bad. And the reason that I mention him is because of his price tag. If you want to remove a player like Cantwell or your fifth midfielder, then why not do that if you can't get another Arsenal or Manchester City player or you don't or you actually want a double game week player? And a Bamian. Now I'm not gonna include Lacazette, even though I feel like Lacazette could play uh, against West Ham at least. I just I just can't trust Lacazette playing. That's the problem. I can't see it happening for him to play both of the games. Um, but I can see Abamian playing both. He's on penalties, you know, he's got an amazing scoring record, and a lot of people's going to captain him. So he is pretty much a must own in my eyes if you're going to bring in an Arsenal player. Now, as for Manchester City, you got Edison. I think this is a great shout. Like, don't underestimate a goalkeeper bringing any clean sheet points because most of us are not. And right now they're playing really well they're keeping a lot of clean sheets you know as you can see in the recent um, last four um game weeks four clean sheets that's pretty damn good they're performing well he is pretty much one of the most nailed on uh, manchester city player but the problem is blank uh in game with 31. so if you do have a a goalkeeper that is playing that's not you know got great great fixture in game week um, 29 then you can actually remove your second um, goalkeeper that you know you never use if you're going to be wild card in very very soon. I think that's a quite a good strategy there. And you got Mares and Sterling here. I don't know who's going to play. If you actually with Sergio here and Jesus, if you could nail on, like nail a player. For Manchester City that plays both games you will have a high chance of returning big even though Manchester uh, City has got a game against Manchester United and Arsenal they are capable of scoring goals if you can nail that if you want to take a risk then these are the players and we've got Kevin De Bruyne pretty much one of the most nailed on players in that Manchester City side highly owned and he can still be on penalties. Now, if we look at the fixtures, I doubt, I doubt that Kevin De Bruyne is going to be benched um, for these two fixtures. This is what I think. I think he will play both of these games. And for this game here, at home against Burnley, he has a high chance of getting a rest. Because... The next game after that, which is only a couple of days later, is against Real Madrid in the Champions League. And that is a high priority for Manchester City to, to win that game. They're already winning and they've got a, a good chance to actually go through. So that's my thinking. I, I could be all wrong, you know. Things could happen, there could be some injuries, there could be some rotations before that game, so I don't know. Um, but that's what I'm expecting, that's what I'm thinking that could happen. Now with Arsenal, they need to go all out, you know, they're out of the European League, 
they need to prioritize on the Premier League. So they will try their best to win this game at least and score a lot of goals in. Uh, against um, Manchester City away, it's going to be difficult. However, yeah, that was pretty much it. And yeah, just let me know in the comments below, what are you going to be doing? What I'm going to do is comment on everyone's comments and just give you guys like a yes or no or maybe answers on your transfer thoughts. Okay, I'll see if I can give more information as well. I think that'll be a little bit fun uh, going into the um, double game week 29. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new and follow me on Twitter because that's where I update all my FPL stuff. I'll try to um, post something on my YouTube as well so you guys can see what I've done. And that is about it. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.